Oh. This is your contact list. Whatever. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Back at it again with another YouTube video. I'm Nigel Isaiah, your founder and editor-in-chief of Color Magazine, the digital fashion magazine for black and brown men, and coming soon, Grailless Magazine, sneaker style, culture, for the man who dresses from his souls up. I make videos giving digital publishing tips for people who want to start their own independent magazine. I make videos on menswear because I buy a lot of sneakers. I make videos about my locks because I have them for 10 years, and a whole bunch of other that I will get into as we keep going with this YouTube channel. But right now we are getting into some more digital publishing tips. I am assuming you are here because you want to start a fashion magazine. Well, I'm giving you five things that you need to get started with that right now. Now these five things are going to be essential as you get ready to create content for the launch of your magazine. So that can include um, securing interviews, that can include a uh, type of evergreen content you're going to be creating um, or editorials that you may be shooting. As you introduce your magazine to people within your industry, these tools will be needed. And then you'll be using these tools after your launch as well um, and years and years to come as you continue to publish your magazine. So you definitely want to get this stuff started now and be in a good habit of updating it as needed and just keeping track of them because let me tell you, people are going to ask for them. Let's get right into the list was number one. Actually, I just lied. I want to share a little bit of background information. So my magazine is a menswear magazine and I am based in New York City, right? So a lot of these things I use because I live in the fashion capital. So if you're watching this in London, Milan, Paris, obviously the big fashion capitals of the world, I know for a fact these things will be useful for you as you maneuver around. If you live in other cities that have huge uh, fashion week, um, Copenhagen, uh, Australia has a fashion week, South Africa has a fashion week, Tokyo has a fashion week, Portugal has a fashion week. You can use these items too. If you live in a small city like Buffalo, yes, you can use these things too. Why? Because anywhere where there are designers, people are going to want their clothes to be shot for magazines. They're going to want their clothes to be seen outside of their reach. And that might be you and your publication. And having these things on hand is going to be a great way to show people that you are serious about what you do and that you're a professional. Now let's get into number one. So the first thing you want to start getting together is your contact list. Your contact list is a list of people's names, their titles and positions, and their email or phone numbers possibly. You want to have a contact list and continue to update it as you meet new people because this is the list that you go to when it's time to request for tickets to Fashion Week or you want to pull clothes from an editorial. You don't want to be fumbling through your email address looking for somebody's, somebody's contact information. You want to keep an updated contact list from day one. You will not regret keeping a solid contact list. You'll be able to do anything with a good contact list. The second thing you want to get together is a content list. The content list is going to be a list of about three months worth of articles that you'll be publishing on your magazine. And the reason why you want to have a content list together, number one is really for focus. So you know that for the next three months, this, this, these are the type of articles that you're going to be publishing. Since you have your list together, you, you're not searching around for what to write next, right? You go right to your content list, you start your writing immediately. But also, this gives you time to get together content, your evergreen content that you're going to publish based around your niche. So this list is not daily news articles. This is a content list of articles that fit your niche. So if you have an idea for a magazine, right? You come up with this really cool niche. You want to sit down and figure out, can you write three months worth of content, or maybe how to's or lists or things that would drive traffic, articles that will that people who are into your niche will be interested in, things that they'll be Googling. That is what you want your content list to be. The third thing of things you need on your list to start a fashion magazine is a media kit. A media kit is a document just quickly kind of showcasing what your magazine is about, who your audience is, the type of content you may be creating, your frequency, your um, advertising specifications, if you're at that if you're at that point where you're looking for advertisers for your launch. All of that information will be in your media kit. The reason why you want a media kit is because a lot of times when you reach out to brands, even if you're not looking for advertising, right? You may reach out to a brand and try and work with them 
And if you have a digital magazine, or if you have a print magazine, they are probably gonna ask you to send a print copy of your magazine. They definitely will not, and I'm gonna say they won't, but the likelihood of them giving you tons and tons of unique clicks and stuff on your website is slim to none. They will, however, ask you for a media kit. It's a good way to entice a brand or a designer or whichever or whomever you're trying to work with, with imagery with the content that you're making because if your niche fits with their brand and they can see that within your media kit they may work with you even if you're just launching because it's a perfect fit so you want to have a nice media kit together add as you're shooting content for your magazine add some of those pictures into your media kit describe who your audience who you believe your audience will be if you're creating a media kit for your launch you might not have specific uniques or monthly visitor numbers but you will be able to forecast the type of person that you are reaching out to. And you can show that to an advertiser or to a brand. And like I said, in order to entice them to work with you. So number three is a media kit. Let's get into it with number four. Oh, because you thought I was giving you the fourth thing you need to touch your fashion magazine, but I you like my video first. Make sure you like my video, make sure you comment below and let me know if these tips are helping you as you get ready to launch your fashion magazine. All right, number four. The next thing you're gonna need is an LOR, a letter of responsibility. Your LOR is basically a letter that you will send out to a PR company or a designer if they were loaning clothes to you for a shoot. And this letter will basically state to them that while the clothes are in your possession, you will take full responsibility for them and that you return that you will return them in the way that you receive them. If not, you will pay for any or be responsible, which is paying for any damages that may occur to the clothes from odors, rips. Um, I mean, who knows? Return the clothes the way you've got them and you don't have to worry about it. But so LOR just lets the designer know that they're not gonna be, excuse my language, if you decide or if clothes get ripped on your set and you know, you just gonna what? Not, not do nothing about it? Now, I'm gonna put your mind at ease though. I want you to think about how many times you put on clothes and they rip. I'm not talking about older. If you put clothes on for a minute, you put them back into the garment bags, they're fine. I'm talking about real damage to clothes. And the, the answer is you, you don't, you probably don't. So don't overstress yourself about it. But you do wanna be mindful that you're pulling clothes and that you're responsible for them. And LOR just simply states that you are aware of that and that if anything happens, you will claim full responsibility for those clothes. Let me give you your last tip. Let's get right into it. The last thing you need on your list is a general request email. Now this email will vary depending on your request, but the idea is always the same. To send a quick, concise email that is detailed enough to get your point across without sending a PR person a thousand words of fluff, right? So this is how most of my emails go and you can use the same kind of format. All right, I hope this email finds you well. My name is Nigel Isaiah. I am the founder and editor-in-chief of Color Magazine, this digital fashion magazine for black and brown men. This email is to request my interest in, and I list my, what I'm looking for, um, an interview with you, an interview with your client, request to your New York Fashion Week show, lookbooks or images that I could use for a story that I'm working on. And then in the body of that email address, I'm going to include a week transfer link to my media kit and an LOR if I need to include one. I'm going to list details of my shoot, if I'm shooting, or information, rather it be bullet points or the questions of an interview, if that's what I'm reaching out for. Whatever important details that you need, you put in your body, right? Along with those retransfer links to your media kit so you can tell that person how great your magazine is because I know you want to. And your LOR to let the person know that you'll take responsibility for the clothes. You'll close off with thank you for taking my request into consideration. I hope to hear from you soon. You sign off. Make sure when you say hi, good morning, or good afternoon, that you say hi and you put the person's name there, right? If you can find a person's name, make sure you use it. Those are the five things that you need to touch your fashion magazine, a contact list, a content list, a media kit, an LOR, and a general request email. My name is Nigel Isaiah. These are my digital publishing tips. Make sure you go and follow two of my independent magazines, Color Magazine and Grailist Magazine on Instagram. Like this video, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and we'll see y'all next time.